Hi everyone. Welcome. Hi Crystal. This video is for Crystal Howard and um, I'm making your butterfly and uh, I thought it'd be neat if you had some footage of it being made and painted. So um, right now it is drying uh, and it'll be at least 24 to 48 hours drying time and then I will film it uh, when I paint it, the pink, hot pink, and black. Okay. Okay, I, I just, and I'm thinking about thinness and thickness because I know over here is real, real thin, and I don't want that. I want to stay more in the center, which isn't thin or, or thick, but it's not too thin either. It's that happy medium I was talking about. And uh, I talked a little bit here before starting the video with a friend of mine. So um, now I gotta restick my butterfly. Now, I recommend this little tool. It had to have come from the Dollar Tree because I was doing a lot of crafting and, and using a hot glue gun. So I have all the silicone, um, type stuff so I think if you go there you would find it but this does so much better than a pencil than anything I have found and you lay it with that little scoop uh, going to the top and then follow your line of your template and press this would be something you might enjoy doing with your um, little girl. Um, I think, she, well, I don't know your little girl, but me as a little girl now, I loved anything art related. So yes, I, I would have loved it. Okay, then you just, all, that's all you do is go around that pattern. The other reason, too, is it's not sharp, it won't cut you. Um, let Mama do the scalpel part. Naturally, yes. Or use a different option. You could use a sewing pin. You know, that would work. It's way better than a scalpel. But as a mom, you know what is right. I do not suggest using a scalpel. Absolutely not. Just to be clear. In case anybody watching thinks differently or misunderstood me. <laughs> I should say that. Just want to be clear. So once you've pressed your image into the clay, then you're going to cut it out. And that did not do well. I tell you, today, Crystal has been a day for me. All right. Come on now. Well, I, there you go. Oh, I see up here did not. Not sure why. I just will fix it. I think it's too how I hold that this special tool. If I lift up, I I I tend to rip the paper. And I don't get an image. So I lose, lose. Okay, there we go. I made it look and sound way harder than it is. But there you go, Crystal. In the beginning stages of your butterfly. Yes, I'm going to keep that stencil, you bet. I'm going to be making more. I love making them, actually. This is fun for me. And it's a challenge, going to be doing a hot pink and black. 
it's going to be beautiful. What a good choice, you know. I, it surprised me because I would have put black on, on a butterfly anyway. That's why I was kind of going in what color, you know, um, because I didn't think you, uh, I guess I didn't think you knew that there was already black. If that makes any sense. So I thought you wanted another color, basically. But we will work with hot pink and black. Just those colors. Build up there of clay. Sometimes you gotta check your scalpel. If that's you know what you're using. It would be, you know, it is the easiest, but uh, not child safe. fun to paint. Yeah. Now that is child proof. I shouldn't have I'm having a hard time seeing my pattern because of the lighting. There's no sanding going to be involved in the making of this butterfly. <laughs> yep, I'm being goofy. I'm goofy. Anyway, there we go. All right. Let's pull our butterfly away from its little cocoon and he immerses out for us easily. Look at that. Very good. By the way, that's wax paper, Crystal. That's what I use. Good old wax paper. Good. It's good stuff for clay. One of my things is not touching the clay until this process right here, you know? And I'm really not even touching it because I'm ready right now to switch out onto a new paper. And naturally, we're gonna save this paper. I mean, uh, this leftover clay for the next project. The next and the next and the next. I might have should have gotten some while it was all rolled out there, but I didn't even think about that. But let me just quickly put it in. Uh, quickly put it in. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I am coughing lately. I don't know if it... I think it's allergies, actually. But Florida, I tell you... I love it, but you know, we have a lot of blooming, and especially this neighborhood, everybody has really pretty, pretty flowering trees and bushes, and uh, the neighborhood really loves uh, plants, and that's awesome. I'm going to have just a little tap of water in there. Get it kind of 
smooshed around. It, it feels like it got a little hard us uh, fussing. There we go. Some water in there. And I oh I'm I'm showing you, I'm trying to show you a little trick. Uh, keep your this is not even going to be touched. I'll just, uh, all the lines are going to be perfect. Um, something blue on it. I guess I will be touching it now. Isn't that maddening? I don't know where that came from. Out of nowhere. Zoom. Right in. I need specs to get that out. Oh my. Little tiny black thing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Fabulous. Come here. I was thinking maybe you could help. This little piece of clay would grab it or something. But, but So, <laughs> I don't know what in the world, it, it may have to just live there. It's making my, it's making my perfect butterfly for crystal not so perfect right there. Yeah, you can't have no mistakes. No mistakes allowed. Yeah, but you live, you're real. You lift up them wings and fly off. Beautiful. Mm, I made this one just a little too round. There we go. That's a little better. We don't want them to look like, you know, weird. They're not pointy. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little work on whatever that is. Is it just a divot? I'm beginning to think it's just a piece of clay that has come off. I really am. Hmm. Well, I didn't, this part right here needs that. So... I'll put it over here. Why not? We're going to have dots and all kinds of neat things on here. I'm just going to use a little bit of water. Kind of create a, a slip, it's called. So you've got a little something special in your butterfly. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. There we go, yeah. So it was a little, it was an air bubble. Hmm, interesting. And her sides are all good. We do have some, I don't know, little, I don't know, little particles or something. Get off of there. There we go, it's under there now. We kept wanting to get on your butterfly. It cannot, Crystal. I don't even know if I'll show you this video. I'm being so silly. Okay, all we're going to do is going to prop that little beauty up. And it is going to be beautiful. Well, let's check the back. See, there's another hijacker. There we go. It's off of there. That was a hijacker there. Definitely. It needs just a little bit of smooth in here. I'm glad I took a look at the back. And yeah, I'm using water because this is a crease, and uh, the only way to get that out is to if you re-roll it. I didn't realize the back had creased up on us, but it looks like it did. But it's an easy fix, like I said. I don't usually use water, but I th it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. I'm not going to do the edges or anything like that. Um, 
hard to tell what side's better. I think this side is really nice. But I'm gonna stay with this side. You gonna stay with your size, the original. And all we're gonna do, be right back. get what I do to create a dried butterfly that is lifted up and is about to take flight. There you go. Turn it around. Okay, Crystal, part one. <laughs> 